Russell now shakes up Envoy Allen, asks him for an effort. Suddenly he's got four lengths to make up. Into the straight they come with one left to jump in the Ballymore. It's the big getaway, yellow sleeves. Out on the right, easy work. Here goes Envoy Allen now, beginning to hit his stride on the near side, bearing down on them. There'll be three in a line at the last, but Envoy Allen jumps to the front. He lands a length and a half clear. Easy work, he's chasing him off up the run in but it's on Roy Allen over three lengths here and galloping on remorselessly, the banker of the week, a star very much in the ascendancy, on Roy Allen, emphatic. towards the home turn. They have two plate fences to jump. Alaho and Minella Indo have always been one and two. Champ is two lengths behind him in third. Back over Doyen behind those, then Castle Bourne West, and now they move into the straight. Alaho on the right. Minella Indo, the maroon and yellow. And Minella Indo and Rachel Blackmore put in the bed elite there. Castle Bourne West is unseated right on the second last. Minella Indo at the last. Well, clambered over it. Alaho is back level with him. Off up the run and they go. They're clear from Champ. Blue cap is Alaho. The maroon jacket is Minella Indo, who is in front now. Champ is running all between them. Look out for Champ. Minella Indo, Alaho together. Champ storming through. Barry Geraghty on Champ has lifted the prize late on. One left to jump in the Coral Cup, it's Alpha Mix on the right. Here's Black Tears in the centre, surging through the challenge. Honest Vic second from the left, damned a company unleashed on the left. Far side, those days are gone in the dark green and white, and then Canardier. A lot of chances as they draw towards the final flight. Black Tears, joined by Damned Company. Canardier was a faller in behind them. Those days are gone on the far side. It's Damned Company on the stand side. Guarantee again for JP McMahon. And Damned Company is asserting and lands the Coral Cup from Black Tears. Still Paletta Lowe moves around the home turn with the advantage and he's gone on by two or three lengths. But Doran in second, Dynamite Dollars in third, on the left is Jeffy De Searle. Two play fences to jump, Paletta Lowe up and over that safely, landing with a three length advantage. Dynamite Dollars and Bondor in second and third, Jeffy De Searle behind those in fourth. A jumping exhibition from Politologue. He's been in front most of the way. Defi de Searle and Error at the final fence. Into the closing stages. Politologue and Harry Skelton in front. Tiring a little bit in the closing stages. But he's run a ragged this afternoon. He's jumped superbly. A fifth festival run. A first festival victory. The champion chasers Politologue. Heading back towards home with just over a quarter mile left to go in the Glen Farkless. And it's easy land by two lengths. Tiger Roll is having to work to get on terms. They're miles clear of Urgent de Gregan and then Diesel Dallier. And it's easy land now heading towards the last. Tiger Roll has still got a couple of lengths to make up. He's under firm pressure. Easy land into the wings of the 30th and final obstacle. He gets over neatly. He's five, six lengths ahead of Tiger Roll, who's given his all, but he isn't getting any closer. And Easy's Land is staying on stoutly on the run to the line. It's victory for France in the Glen Parkless and for Jonathan Plugano. A tremendous day for J.P. McManus. Gets better still as the Davy Cotton train. Easy's Land runs right to win. Two out, and it's just Sam Rue. To Galahad Quest in second, Aramax is there, Mick Pastor is there, Repetitio is still there, Time White 
Then comes Theatre of War from Night Edition round the outside. Sacco and Van Zetti and recent revelations behind those. Lankadan is next as they move down towards the last. Aramax coming very strongly. Theatre of War is there as well. Sandaru with those. Also Tonador running on from the back of the field. Night Edition as well. At the last, Light of Hurdles, Aramax, a big leap from Night Edition, Theatre of War, Soundaroo, recent revelations, into the closing stages now, Aramax, but nearest to us is Night Edition and Tom Scudamore, Aramax, Noah and Mark Walsh, another JP winner. They swing for home, and it's Appreciated who sauntered into a narrow lead, but he's immediately challenged by Queensbrook on the left. Escalane is running on strongly with a yellow cap, then third time lucky. From a long way back, Bernie Hollow is also staying on. They've got a furlong to go with their champion bumper. Appreciated, being attacked on either side. Bernie Hollow is joining him on the far side. Then Queensbrook behind these Escalane, and it's Bernie Hollow who stormed into the lead of the house of Paul Townend. Willie Mullins in the race, but he's made his own at the festival. Bernie Hollow takes the weather of his champion bumper from Appreciated. And you ever thought I was you?